Why is Nasiruddin Day celebrated in Turkey? Nasiruddin Day is celebrated annually in Turkey for his famous anecdotes. Turkey mein yawm Nasiruddin kyun manaya jata hai? Yawm Nasiruddin har saal Turkey mein unki mashhoor kahaniyon ki wajah se manaya jata hai. Is Nasiruddin's exact age known? No, his exact age during his life is unknown. Kya Nasiruddin ki sahi umr maloom hai? Nahi, uski zindagi ke dauran iski sahi umr maloom nahi hai. Which is the country of Nasiruddin's birth? There are doubts about his birth country. Iranians, Turks, and Russians all have claims that he was born there. Nasiruddin ki pedaish ka mulk kaun sa hai? Iski pedaish ke mulk ke baare mein shukuk wao shubhat hai. Iraniyo, Turku, or Rosiyo ka dawa hai ki wo wahi peda hawa tha. In which languages have stories about Nasiruddin been published? Stories about Nasiruddin have been published in English, Chinese, Russian, Urdu, and Pashto. Nasiruddin ki kahaniya kin zubano mein shai hui hai? Nasiruddin ki kahaniya Angrezi, Chini, Rusi, Urdu, or Pashto mein shai hui hai? In which languages have stories about Nasiruddin been published? Stories about Nasiruddin have been published in English, Chinese, Russian, Urdu, and Pashto. Nasiruddin ki kahaniya kin zubano mein shai hui hai? Nasiruddin ki kahaniya Angrezi, Chini, Rusi, Urdu, or Pashto mein shai hui hai? Why are Nasiruddin's stories popular? They talk about everyday life experiences. Nasiruddin ki kahaniya kyun maqbool hai? Wo roz marra ki zindagi ke tajribat ke baare mein hai. What professions did Nasiruddin have? Nasiruddin was a tailor, merchant, doctor, and judge. Nasiruddin ke kaun se peshe the? Nasiruddin ek darzi, saudagar, doctor, or judge the. What did Nasiruddin ask Jalal? Nasiruddin asked Jalal to accompany him on a journey. Nasiruddin ne Jalal se kiya guzarish ki. Nasiruddin ne Jalal se guzarish ki ki wo iske saath safar par chale. What condition did Jalal have for the journey? Jalal asked to borrow Nasiruddin's cloak because his was worn out. Safar par jane ke liye Jalal ne kiya shart rakhi thi. Jalal ne Nasiruddin ka chupa uthar lene ko kaha kyunki iska chupa parana ho chuka tha. What did Nasiruddin do when meeting another friend on the way? Nasiruddin told the friend that Jalal's cloak actually belonged to him. Raaste mein ek aur dost se mulaqat hui to Nasiruddin ne kya kiya? Nasiruddin ne dost ko bataya ki Jalal ka chupa darasal iska hai. Why did Jalal protest when Nasiruddin spoke about the cloak to the friend? Jalal was upset because Nasiruddin said that the cloak was his own. Jab Nasiruddin ne dost se chupa ki baat kahi to Jalal ne ehtijaj kyun kiya? Jalal pareshan tha kyunki Nasiruddin ne kaha ki chupa iska apna hai. What did Nasiruddin promise Jalal after the incident with the cloak? Nasiruddin promised not to repeat the mistake of claiming ownership of the cloak. Chupe ki vaqe ke baad Nasiruddin ne Jalal se kya vaada kiya? Nasiruddin ne chupe ki malkiyat ka dawa karne ki galti na dohrane ka vaada kiya. How did Nasiruddin introduce Jalal at another friend's house? Nasiruddin introduced Jalal as an old friend, stating the cloak Jalal wore was his own. Nasiruddin ne Jalal ko dusre dost ke ghar kaise malwaya? Nasiruddin ne Jalal ko ek purane dost ke taur par mutaraf karaya, ye batate hue ki Jalal ne jo chupa pehna tha wo iska apna tha. Why did the farmer bring a letter to Nasiruddin? The farmer wanted Nasiruddin to read the letter for him. Kisan Nasiruddin ke paas khat kyun lekar aaya? Kisan chahta tha ki Nasiruddin iske liye khat padhe. Nasiruddin responded to the farmer's request. Nasiruddin excused himself, saying he couldn't read because he was illiterate. Ki darkhast ka kiya jawab diya. Nasiruddin ne mazurat karte hue kaha ki wo padh nahi sakta kyunki wo un par tha. What did the farmer point out about Nasiruddin's turban? The farmer mentioned Nasiruddin's big turban and questioned his inability to read despite wearing it. Kisan ne Nasiruddin ki pagri ke baare mein kya ishara kiya? Kisan ne Nasiruddin ki badi pagri ka zikr kiya aur use pehnne ke bawajood padne se qasir hone par itiraz kiya. What did Nasiruddin do with his turban? Nasiruddin placed his turban on the farmer's head and asked him to read the letter since he now had the turban on. Nasiruddin ne apni pagri ke saath kya kiya? Nasiruddin ne kisan ke sar par apni pagri rakh di aur use khat padhne ko kaha kyunki ab pagri usne pehni thi. 
How many daughters did Nasiruddin have, and what were their husbands' professions? Nasiruddin had two daughters, one married to a farmer, and the other married to a brickmaker. Nasiruddin ki kitni betiya thi aur unke shoharon ke peshe kya thi? Nasiruddin ki do betiya thi, ek ki shadi ek kisan se aur dusri ki shadi ek end banane wale se hui thi. What did the farmer's wife say about her husband and rain? She said her husband planted wheat and hoped for rain so he could buy her an ornament. Kisan ki bivi ne apne shohar aur barish ke baare mein kya kaha? Isne kaha ki iske shohar ne gandum ki buwai ki thi aur usse ummeed thi ki barish ho taaki wo usse zewar khareed kar de sake. What did the brickmaker's wife say about her husband and rain? She hoped it wouldn't rain because her husband made many bricks ready for baking, intending to buy her an ornament if it stayed dry. And banane wale ki bivi ne apne shohar aur barish ke baare mein kya kaha? Isse ummeed thi ki barish na ho kyunki iske shohar ne pakne ke liye bahut si eete taiyar ki, agar mausam khushk rahe to wo usse zewar kharidega. Why couldn't Nasiruddin decide for whom to pray? Nasiruddin couldn't decide which daughters wish to pray for, as both wanted ornaments based on different weather conditions. Nasiruddin ye faisla kyun nahi kar sake ki kis ke liye dua mangi jaye? Nasiruddin ye faisla nahi kar sake ki kis beti ke liye dua karna chahi hai, kyunki dono ko mukhtalif mausumi halat ki bunyad par zewar chahiye the. What happened when thieves entered Nasiruddin's house? Nasiruddin hid himself in a cupboard when the thieves entered his house. Nasiruddin ke ghar mein chor ghus gaye to kya hawa? Jab chor uske ghar mein daakhil huye to Nasiruddin ne khud ko almari mein chupa liya. What did Nasiruddin say when the thieves found him hiding? He told the thieves he hid because he was ashamed that there was nothing valuable for them in his house. Jab choron ne Nasiruddin ko chupa hua paya to usne kya kaha? Isne choron ko bataya ki isne khud ko chupaya kyunki wo sharminda tha ki iske ghar mein unke liye koi qeemti cheez nahi thi. What occurred while Nasiruddin was riding his horse? His horse got scared and started running fast. Jab Nasiruddin ghore par sawar the to kya hawa? Iska ghoda dar gaya aur tezi se daudne laga. How did Nasiruddin respond to the person asking about his destination? Nasiruddin humorously replied, Don't ask me, ask my horse. Nasiruddin ne apni manzil ke baare mein puchne wale ko kya jawab diya? Nasiruddin ne mazahiya andaz mein jawab diya, mujhse mat poochho, mere ghore se poochho. Why did Nasiruddin's wife ask him to walk on the road? Nasiruddin's wife asked him to go out and walk because he was angry. Nasiruddin ki bivi ne usse sadak par chalne ko kyun kaha? Nasiruddin ki bivi ne usse bahar jane aur chalne ko kaha kyunki wo naraz tha. How did Nasiruddin explain his age in relation to his brother's age? Nasiruddin humorously said he was three years older than his brother based on his brother's statement. Nasiruddin ne apne bhai ki umr ke hawale se apni umr ki wazahat kaise ki? Nasiruddin ne apne bhai ke bayan ki bunyad par mazahiya andaz mein kaha ki wo apne bhai se teen saal bada hai. What did Nasiruddin ask a man he met on the road? He asked the man to check with his wife whether he should continue walking. Nasiruddin ne raaste mein milne wale ek aadmi se kya poochha? Isne aadmi se kaha ki wo iski biwi se pooch le ke aaya usse chalna jari rakhna chahiye. What did Nasiruddin request from a rich man, and how did the rich man respond? Nasiruddin asked the rich man for money to buy an elephant. The rich man advised him that without money, he couldn't afford to keep an elephant. Nasiruddin ne amir aadmi se kya darkhast ki aur amir ne kya jawab diya. Nasiruddin ne amir aadmi se haathi kharidne ke liye paise maan gaye. Amir Admi ne usse mashwara diya ki paise ke bagar wo haathi rakhne ka mutahamil nahi ho sakta. How did Nasiruddin respond to the rich man's advice? Nasiruddin said that he came for money, not advice. Nasiruddin ne Amir ke mashwara ka kya jawab diya? Nasiruddin ne kaha ki wo mashwara nahi paise ke liye aaye hain. Why was Nasiruddin collecting vegetables in someone's kitchen garden? He claimed he was blown into the garden by the wind and grabbed the vegetables to stop himself from being carried away. Nasiruddin kisi ke kitchen garden mein sabziyan kyun juma kar rahe the? Isne daava kiya ki usse hua se baag mein uda diya gaya aur usne khud ko bahne se rokne ke liye sabziyan pakad li. How did Nasiruddin explain the presence of vegetables in the sack? 
Nasiruddin humorously said he was wondering about the vegetables when the gardener interrupted him. Nasiruddin ne bori mein sabziyon ki maujoodgi ki wazahat kaise ki? Nasiruddin ne mazahiya andaaz mein kaha ki wo sabziyon ke bare mein soch raha tha jab baagban ne use roka. Why did Nasiruddin refuse to lend his neighbor his donkey initially? He claimed he had already lent out the donkey, but the donkey braying gave away his life. Nasiruddin ne shuru mein apne padosi ko gadha dene se inkar kyun kiya? Isne daava kiya ki wo pehle hi gadhe ko udhar de chuka hai, lekin gadhe ki awaaz ne usko jhoota sabit kar diya. How did Nasiruddin react when the neighbor heard the donkey in his stable? Nasiruddin shut the door on the neighbor, stating that anyone believing the donkey over him didn't deserve to borrow anything. Jab padosi ne iske astabal mein gadhe ki awaaz suni to Nasiruddin ne kya radamal zahir kiya. Nasiruddin ne padosi par ye kehte hue darwaza band kar diya ki jo bhi gadhe ko is par fauqiyat deta hai wo kuch bhi uthar lene ka mustahid nahi hai.